Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Angel Storm. I'm the founder of Ashes to Beauty Ministries and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over some of the most common statements that narcissists will say to get back at you. First of all, everything that the narcissist says is to get you under his control and to manipulate you even more. There's never a time when he is doing something just because he um, genuinely feels you know, whatever, sorry, love, um, empathy, whatever. He never does anything from that. He's always acting from a place of trying to manipulate and control you. And so these are some of the common phrases that he's going to say to you. Um, he's going to make mean comments and then say, just kidding at the end. So for example, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're so overweight, just kidding. Or you're a horrible cook. Oh, just kidding. Haha. <laughs> or you're a pretty good skateboarder, but nothing like me. Oh, just kidding. Or something like that, where it's definitely a jab. It's definitely an underhanded comment to you. But because he says just kidding at the end, it's like it takes care of the fact that you, you were hurt by that comment. It takes care of any kind of emotional reaction you would have. So if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, if you have to deal with a narcissist on a daily basis, expect this to be one of the things that they use all of the time to further control you. Because when they wear down your identity, your self-worth, when they put you down, it gives them energy. And not only that, they are hoping it puts you further under their control, under their, um, under their sphere of influence, if you will. So expect that to come out from the narcissist. Another thing the narcissist will say to you is you're so sensitive. I can't even joke around you or I can't be myself around you because of your insecurities. The, the narcissist does this so that you will just be quiet and go along with what he says. The narcissist, again, cannot handle anything that threatens his ego. So when you push back to him because the narcissist can't make his own internal energy he has no feeling of self-worth internally intrinsically and so he has to get it from other people so he wants to silence you he wants to be able to take all the energy from you and to have no pushback from you whatsoever and so by saying things to you like this is your issue you're the insecure one you can't take a joke you're the one who has problems that need to get changed then he himself can just sit back and say like good I, like first of all she didn't say anything back to me and second of all um, that must be true now I've gotten the energy that I needed I've successfully silenced the person that I'm getting the energy from all is going right in my world if I'm the narcissist I have a video that deals specifically with gaslighting and some of the issues that come from dealing with a narcissist and the effects of gaslighting but I didn't say that is going to be another common phrase that you hear from the narcissist and this is done uh, absolutely intentionally they intend for you to forget about how horrible they have been they want to silence you they want to discredit you especially if you're trying to get outside help you're trying to make sense of what's going on and you need um, other people to come into the situation they are absolutely going to um, lie about whatever it is that you're saying they did they're gonna swear up and down that they never did that thing that you're accusing them of and this is not only to win over uh, neutral parties or um, you know anything like that but that's also to discredit you that's also to get you to be quiet um, to lose credibility in front of that person and as well to get you to start questioning your own self maybe he didn't actually say that or I might have I might be remembering this situation wrong the narcissist is counting on those things because that again gives him more manipulation more control and I've also talked about in a previous video how the narcissist thrives on chaos so starting these things where it's like nobody can really tell what the truth is we don't really know what happened we can't really sort things out that's another tactic of the narcissist that's another thing that he does in order to get control of a situation 
and so that he can't be held accountable for any of the things that he's done. Another thing that the narcissist is going to do is to accuse you of being selfish and to try to highlight the things that he has done. Remember, I've said this before, but the narcissist never ha does anything simply from altruistic motives. There, There is always a reason behind it. He's going to point out to you the fact that he did you know, X, whatever it was, even if it was a year ago or two years ago, he's going to try to make you think he does so much for you. And it'll usually be these very carefully staged events where everybody saw what he had done, so it can't be refuted that he did those things. And it will also be something very over the top, usually over the top, so that it's like people think he does this kind of stuff all of the time. If he went out of his way to go, you know, and do this large vacation or a surprise birthday party or, you know, bought some sort of crazy gift or planned a really special getaway or an evening or something like that, he's going to do these things specifically so that he can say, well, I took you on a trip to Paris. But these are just examples of what they will say to you so that you feel, and then you're gonna start rethinking about it, especially if you're an empath, you're gonna start thinking about these things and it's like, he did do that, you know, maybe again I'm overreacting. All, everything that the narcissist says and does is very calculated to not just get him the immediate energy supply that he has to have because he cannot create it internally, but also so that he has more and more and more control, a, a greater hold on you and your life. Sometimes it's what the narcissist doesn't say that lets you know he's a narcissist. So for example, narcissists are notorious for doing the silent treatment. They will just simply not talk to you. And you can usually tell that you're dealing with a narcissist because of this. You might try to approach it, in the situation, in a very mature and reasonable manner. Like, hey, can we talk about this? And you're going to get nothing back. And it'll be weeks, sometimes months, before the narcissist comes back around. Then he's going to pretend like nothing happened. And in that meantime, he's hoping that you have uh, drawn some conclusions that include you doing something wrong, that included you needing to change, that included how great he was to you and you miss him and you're gonna do whatever when he comes back around. And that is also, again, very strategic for the narcissist. One, they'd never have to confront any of the actual issues. They get to continue to skirt around them. And two, they leave you thinking that you're the one who did something wrong and you're the one who needs to change. And that leads me to my final point wow you've changed and when the narcissist says this to you take it as a compliment i hope that that means that you're not putting up with what they're dishing out anymore that you've learned about boundaries that you've learned about your self-worth that you've learned about how to respect yourself and how to teach other people how to respect you by the way that you treat yourself so when the narcissist says wow you've changed and he means it in a negative way take it as a compliment thank him for that tell him that you're so proud of where you are now there's many more things that narcissists say on a regular basis um, some of them include well did you hear what so-and-so said about you again that whole triangulation thing that they love to do um, I just don't have time to go over all of the things in this video but those are some of the most common uh, phrases, some of the most common ways that narcissists use words to try to get back at you and try to take more and more control away from you. And um, essentially, they just want to have a form of an energy slave, somebody who is there to give them a constant supply of energy and somebody who is there to constantly boost their ego because they don't have a personality of their own. This is why em empaths and narcissists often go together, unfortunately. I have a, pr a video that I've done a while ago about echoism, which is really important to understand if you are an, a, a quiet um, person and you're an empath, things that can happen to you when you are around a narcissist for a long period of time. Be sure to check out some of my programs on rebuilding your life after you get out of a relationship with a narcissist. I wrote a book called Restored. It comes with an ebook club that you can join. I have PDFs, courses, whole mentorship programs. I do one-on-one -on -one life coaching. So be sure to check those out. They're in the description of this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel below.